TXV or TEV, is a metering device designed to regulate the rate at which liquid refrigerant flows into the evaporator. By limiting the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator, the expansion valve causes the refrigerant to drop in pressure. This drop in pressure lowers the saturation point of the refrigerant. Managing the flow of refrigerant is essential to maximize the efficiency of the evaporator while limiting any excess liquid refrigerant from returning to the compressor. The thermostatic expansion valve should be located as close to the inlet of the evaporator as possible on the high side of the system. There are a few components and concepts of the expansion valve that you should be familiar with in order to understand how the expansion valve works. We'll start by identifying the refrigerant filled sensing bulb, which is connected to the top of the power head with a capillary tube. We have Next a diaphragm, the diaphragm the power head, from the pressure of the evaporator on the bottom side of the diaphragm. Finally, there is an adjustable pressure spring on the bottom side of the diaphragm. To increase the pressure of the spring, the stem should be rotated clockwise. To decrease the pressure of the spring, the stem should be rotated on the top side of the diaphragm, tends to push the valve to a more open position. Whereas the pressure of the evaporator, or equalizing pressure, and pressure spring, tend to push the valve into a more closed position. In order for the valve to feed in a normally operating system, the pressure of the sensing bulb on the top side of the diaphragm must be greater or equal to the equalizing pressure and the pressure of the spring. Let's look at how the expansion valve regulates the flow of refrigerant into the evaporator. As we've already seen, the expansion valve is equipped with a sensing bulb filled with refrigerant which should be located at the outlet of the evaporator. This bulb is connected with a cap tube to the power head of the expansion valve. As the temperature at the outlet of the evaporator rises, so does the pressure of the gas within the bulb and the top side of the diaphragm. Once the pressure in the top of the power head reaches a certain point, the diaphragm is pushed down, which opens the expansion valve wider. This allows more liquid refrigerant to be fed into the evaporator. As the temperature at the outlet of the evaporator begins to decrease, so does the pressure within the sensing bulb and the top of the power head. When the pressure above the diaphragm and the power head decreases to a certain point, the valve retracts and the flow of refrigerant is reduced.